So Neil deGrasse Tyson was doing an interview on NPR the other day and really pissed me off in like five different ways in ten minutes. And I wanted to go over what he's wrong about and what science is wrong about. I'm pro-science. I'm a math genius and really into science. And I have a lot of hunches about science that science proves to be true 30, 40 years later. Such as I knew since I was a little kid that the Big Bang was bullshit. It's just a projection of masculine thinking on masculine tools to make a masculine interpretation of kind of a projection of masculine values and feelings of uh, necessity or functionality in onto the universe to act like there was a giant explosion that everything came out of. Um, it's just phallic like our telescopes, I'll put it that way, and that the things that we, the conclusions we make with mentalities like that and tools like that are also phallic and wrong and then you can just recognize acknowledge compensate for the fallacy and come up with a much better idea so i've always known the big bang was bullshit and it took them 30 40 years to now i think their, their current idea is that there's many big bangs or some other you know just a modification of it without rethinking the whole thing and it takes science a while to really process a new idea like the higgs boson guy just recently died um, but he suggested the Higgs boson in 1964, and it took science until the next century to prove it true and give him the Nobel Prize and stuff like this. Um, like, I knew that black holes weren't what they thought they were um, since I was a kid, and Stephen Hawking, the supposed expert on black holes, eventually retracted some of his ideas about black holes a few years before he died. But, you know, I'm sitting here telling people, no one would listen, no one didn't have any, any sway, that, you know, this is bullshit, that this doesn't make any sense. There's an intuitive understanding that can easily prove some of these assumptions are wrong. Now, Neil deGrasse Tyson is addressing many of these types of subjects, things we don't really know the answer to, but science has a conventional wisdom, and I, I don't even know if Neil deGrasse Tyson, Tyson is a scientist, if other scientists actually respect him, or if he's just, you know, an ed, uh, entertainer, like a communicator, and he's communicating the most basic ideas, or the kind of the most reduced version of understanding these ideas. But, for instance, he mentioned the death of the universe, because somebody asked him about that, how the universe would end, and he's still, you know basing things on Big Bang type of thinking and the idea that the universe is expanding and they used to say the universe would eventually contract back down to another big collapse. I think they stopped saying that some years ago, but now his take or the official take is now the universe will rip itself to shreds or just peter out, just keep spreading out and peter out. Neither of those make any sense either. Um, again, it's this, this idea of trying to fit the universe into a a human projection or a masculine projection of things, then it's just wrong. A kid asked what being inside a black hole would be like. And another lady asked about frequent radio bursts, the indication of aliens. Now, his responses to that were just so telling of his agenda, not of the truth of science or the truth of reality, but telling of his agenda, because he's saying if you go into a black hole, if you look behind you, you'll see the future history of the universe. And if you go forward you'll enter a portal into another dimension or something this is how science fiction got it right and how when he dies he wants to be sent to a black hole as if that was possible so he can have that experience just validating science fiction ideas but when somebody asked about aliens he was like no i can't validate that you know that would be a misconception to attribute something to aliens and then to leave it at that it's like well we wouldn't leave it at that if you attributed something to aliens you'd still have to find out the science of how aliens did it um, but he's saying that, you know, we have to consider every other option before considering aliens and disprove every other option. That shows his agenda. But then the worst sign of his agenda is when he's talking about people being anti-science. And he's like, well, the left uh, calls the right anti-science because they deny climate change. They deny global warming. But the left is where you find ideas of crystals. It's like, well, those might be things that science hasn't proven yet. There's no reason to compare crystals and astrology with climate denial because crystals